Okay, so your first card is a Knight of Cups reversed. A reversal of emotions. This is a Queen of Swords. Um, we have another Knight of Pentacles reversed. So the Knights are reversed. And when Knights are reversed, Knights are about action. They act on the element. They act on, you know, whether it's pentacles, cups, swords, or wands. They act on the personality of that element. So when we have a knight of pentacles, pentacles are very slow energy. But they're productive. They are rational. They are grounded. So when this is reversed, it means that there's... We're acting on being irrational and not very thoughtful, or we're not, um, we're, there's a lack of discipline, okay? There's a lot of careless mistakes or careless thinking. Likewise for Knight of Cups, this is about emotions and how we behave. And so when we have a Knight of Cups, um, when cups are reversed, we have a reversal of emotions. We have moodiness, depression. Um, you know, um, a lot of emotional upheaval. Now, pentacles are your element, Taurus. Okay? Um, so maybe this is about you being reacting to a certain situation here where things are not stable or grounded. Um, things are sort of all over the place and chaotic, and you're just trying to find some stability here. And I will get to this Queen of Swords in a second here. We have the High Priest. Okay. Or the Hierophant. This is um, responding to the High Priestess. Sometimes this is referred to as the Pope, but when we get the High Priest, we're talking about religion. Sometimes it's about religion, but it's also about faithfulness, tradition, and beliefs. Okay, so this is upright. It's also a major arcana card. It's number five. Ah, uh, this is very interesting. This is called the Judgment card, but in the Witch's Tarot, it's called Karma. And you will see the Maiden Mother Crone in the Wiccan tradition here. Karma. This means that whatever you put out in the universe comes back to you. And what I find interesting about this card is that you have an eclipse. The moon is eclipsing the sun. Okay? Emotions... The moon is usually the subconscious. The sun represents the visible and the conscious. So it's interesting that they have the moon eclipsing the sun here. That maybe there's a new day. Usually judgment is about a resurrection that all decisions and actions karmically come full circle. And there's a new day. This is also a celebration of the full moon. And the full moon in Wiccan tradition is the moon that has the most power. We have a new moon. Um, we get the half moon. And so whenever we get this full moon that's eclipsing, we're also talking about a new, we're talking about a lunar cycle here. And so from the full moon, we slowly retreat okay and the moon becomes less and then we evolve back into that new moon so it's interesting that the judgment card is called karma and it represents a new it represents a lunar cycle because the full moon is when everything comes to fruition full meaning literally the moon is at its the height of its powers Everything that comes, that has happened, reaches its full potential or is actualized. So this is going to be in the center of your spread, Taurus. 
And it definitely means um, a significant shift in a situation, a huge decision that comes. Um, I get a sense that there's a huge decision that you're dealing with here um, or someone else is dealing with or that the situation is going through a huge shift. Okay. And I think that when this is paired with the high priest, this shift has a lot to do with making a new decision based on a shift in your beliefs or how you're seeing a particular situation. It can also mean spiritual renewal as well. Let's see what the other cards have to say. There is a seven of wands. And this is the card of overcoming and fighting back and defending yourself. All right. This is interesting because now we have the devil, which is called the shadow side. The shadow refers to that dark element of everything. There's light on one side, darkness on the other. So when we look at number 15, which in the Rider weight is the devil, we're looking at the dark side of a situation, the shadow side. And this is heading into your future. We have Eight of Pentacles. This is working on a project. This is being productive, manifesting. And then there is a Five of Cups. We're in mourning. We're looking at what we've lost, which I think is interesting here. And maybe this has a lot to do with this Knight of Cups. That's in reverse. Okay. Now I will do the outcome as usual. For those of you who've been watching my videos, I will do the outcome card after the main reading. But this is all very, very interesting to me. Um, because looking at your pentacles, Taurus, which is your energy, it seems as if in the past you've been turned upside down, that your energy has been reversed because of circumstances. And then in the future, it looks like you are moving towards resolving certain issues, especially whatever has to do with this karma or this decision or this huge event that has happened in your life. Okay? And so in order for things to work out from the shadow side, this devil energy that's appearing here, you're working things out, and then this five of cups seems to be leading to a certain loss here. Okay, you see this mermaid, which I think is an interesting illustration. Um, you see her sort of forlorn and sad because these three cups were lost. So there could be a certain loss. In order to work things out and move forward, you might need to take a certain loss. And this just occurred to me, you might even need to leave someone behind. That's definitely an interpretation that's coming to me. Um, I don't see this as a material loss with money. I see this as a loss to where emotionally you might need to focus on what you have versus what you don't have. It also means that you might be in a crossroad. You don't know what to do. You've lost three cups. You still have two. Emotionally, I think you're trying to it's, so, it's almost as if you're half in, half out in a relationship. There are so many things that go wrong with this relationship, especially with the shadow side, but you're still trying to look for the good. Emotionally, you're still attached. Okay? And maybe you're still trying to resolve that with this Eight of Pentacles. All right. So that was my basic first impression here, looking at the Pentacles here in your spread. But looking at your major arcana, wow, you only have three, but they say so much. Because once again, this high priest is about tradition. 
It can even be about marriage. The high priest means someone's getting married or there is a marriage, a marriage contract, something very, a very serious obligation here. And I also think it's interesting, if you look at this card, you have the sun and the moon, the light and the darkness. And here you have the darkness overcoming the sun. And then here you have the darkness that seems to be taking over here. And so a theme that just appeared based on the interpretation, I mean, these illustrations are amazing. This light and darkness, this movement between light and darkness. In the high priest, there's a choice. The keys to the lightness and darkness, understanding our human nature. But karma seems to indicate that there's going to be an eclipse of the light. That this moon, this subconscious emotional turmoil is going to come and cover up the sun. And so when we get to the shadow side, then this sort of indicates that this darkness or this this difficult time, it's going to be temporary. Eclipses never last for long. But in the future, this seems to be a foreshadowing of an issue or a problem that you will need to deal with here. It seems as if here with the Seven of Wands, you're defending yourself because of this event or this darkness in this situation. And I think this High Priest is you trying to do the right thing, to keep your values, to keep your hopes, to do the right thing in this situation. But it seems like this situation, regard, you know, it seems like you're defending yourself against this darkness or this negative situation that's evolving and that will evolve in the future. So I'm kind of giving you a heads up here of what's going on with you. So um, this karma is very significant if it's in the middle of your spread here. And then these pentacles are showing your energy of you trying to work things out here. But the darkness and light is very significant as well. And once again, this is why this particular tarot deck is so wonderful, because it brings out so many other things that I wouldn't necessarily see in the Rider Waite deck that I've been using. So adding back to this first row, Knight of Cups, emotions are upside down, which sort of has a lot to do with this Five of Cups, the way these cups are speaking through the tarot here, that maybe there's an emotional situation that is affecting you, and you don't have a handle on things just yet. Now, I've already explained these two knights in reverse, the reversal of knights, what does that mean? I think it's interesting that you have this Queen of Swords in the middle. And this could actually refer to someone who's an air sign. Um, that could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And maybe this air person, this Queen of Swords, is getting in the way of things being topsy-turvy. Okay? That the decisions that this Queen of Swords is making is creating a little bit of chaos um, because this Knight of Cups and Knight of Pentacles is reversed. Emotions, instability, and being grounded. This Queen of Swords has brought a lot of problems, so to speak. And Queen of Swords can be very judgmental. A Queen of Swords can represent a woman who is wise um, and brings a lot of experience. But it could also mean that this Queen of Swords in the middle of all of this is creating a lot of emotional and mental upheaval. It can also even mean um, financial upheaval as well. Okay. Now moving to the present, I've already explained so much of the High Priest and Karma because once again what I'm seeing here is you defending yourself against this upheaval and this darkness that seems to be coming. 
And also this event, um, this karmic situation where certain decisions that have been made, I think this Queen of Swords has a lot to do with this karma, this eclipse that's coming. And maybe you're trying to work things out, defend yourself, and not be um, defeated in this situation with the Queen of Swords. So when we get to the future here, the shadow side appears. It evolves from the karma in the center of the spread. This Eight of Pentacles is you trying to work this out. And then we get to a Five of Cups to where there's going to be an emotional loss. There's going to be... Um, it's going to be you in the middle emotionally, not knowing what to do. And you've lost more than you've gained. You've lost three cups, you only have two left. So should you continue and risk losing the two cups, or should you cut your losses and take your two cups and leave emotionally? That's how I'm seeing this. And especially because of what it seems you're being put through here especially with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. All right, so let me look at your outcome card to see what else is going to be going on, how this is going to turn out for you. Okay, so your outcome card, you have a Knight of Wands in reverse. So you have three Knights in reverse. Lots of changes, um, a lot of difficulty that will be coming to you, but I think you can handle it. I think that's what I'm seeing from the Seven of Wands. That this difficulty, one, it's going to be temporary. This karma is bringing some change or it's bringing a difficult situation that will be that will require you to really work on things um, and to sort them out for yourself. This Knight of Wands is indicating this is about faithfulness and loyalty. This is how the Knight of this is the energy that the Knight of Wands acts on. But when it's reversed, it can mean a lack of harmony, disagreements. And I think it's these disagreements and lack of harmony are coming from this situation with the karma and shadow side here. Because you want to have balance here. And I think that's what this high priest is starting to mean. But um, expect things to not gel right away okay it'll be a little bit you will need to um, really maintain your balance and focus to get through all these issues and I think yes emotionally you're going to feel half in and half out not fully committed as indicated by this five of cups when we get to this knight of wands you're not going to be on the same page as someone and this could represent someone with a fire sign. Um, when I see all these knights, it could very well be different people in your life who are not gelling with you, who are not supporting you. But I'm kind of seeing this as applying to a situation where um, when we have all these knights which are very active and they're reversed, it means that there's going to be some difficult changes in emotions and financial stability or even happiness that you're going to need to work out. But once again, the larger impression is that you're going to work through those difficulties, especially with this person who's bringing all these negative changes that, you know, it seems like you two are never on the same page in regards to a relationship issue that this person trying to find a common ground is going to be a little difficult but it's not 
it's going to eventually be resolved. Okay, so this big change that's coming for you, Taurus, it's going to bring a difficult change and maybe even some negativity. And it's going to put you in an emotional tailspin. But you are always the person who, you know, any earth energy that could apply to Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, earth energy, you guys are the people who will figure things out. And you, out of all the other signs, the earth signs are the people who stand their ground. Eventually, they're going to get to the bottom of things and solve them. And that's what I think this Eight of Pentacles is saying in the future. So don't be discouraged with all these nights in reverse or this karma. I think that this is just one of those things that happens in life where you're dealing with a difficult situation in a relationship and you're not on the same page with someone and the outcome may be a little bit of conflict and maybe someone else is bringing that conflict this could be a signal or a warning about what someone else is going to do but I have this feeling that you're going to be able to deal with it okay you're not pushovers, Taurus, not by any means. And that was your reading for September. Um, thank you so much for your support and your donations and um, allowing me to read for you. And I hope you've had a wonderful summer. We're heading into the autumn equinox to where darkness will start to take over, which I think is interesting considering we've got this karma card. So I hope to hear from you. Um, if you want me to read for you, look in my description. And um, I hope to talk to you in the comments section as well. So take care of yourself, Taurus. That's the main message I'm getting here. And I will see you on YouTube. I wish you love and light as always.